Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwan Yashala, Kohalo, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakaha, Radash, that by honor our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim, Akwa, that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, to the best of their ability. Jachanan, the just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the spirit. Okay, and just to just get off into um, Esau Edom, man, and how this guy is just wicked as hell, and, and we must get out of this man's kingdom, man. You know, and we're getting close, you know, because as these stories come out more and more, it's just identifying Esau Edom as the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. Job 9 and 24, you see? So now let's get a little bit of this. Let's get the title first. It says, Birthing Parent or Mother? Mom's Way In on Teacher's Union Proposal. So now they're 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 <laughs> they don't want to just keep mother. They, it, it, mother is just not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Mother and father. You know the pro, the actual pronouns that the Lord gave us. You know Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Man, they, they're they're just tearing all into that man. And that's how you know that we're in the very last of um days too, man. And um that's why it's so important to repent. You have to know that we're very very close when you see stuff like that. This that's the reason why we do these lessons. We do them for edification purposes, but we also do do them to show you, um, you know, where we are on this measure, measuring stick. Because the scripture says to measure thou the time diligently. And it, it gives you specific things that we, we measure. But, you know, at, at using wisdom and being in this truth, you have to look at the whole circumference of things. The scripture says to be um, walk circumspectly for the days of evil. Right. Let's get a little bit of this. Maybe I can get this video to play. If not, I'll just read it. Let's see. You know, kind of loading up a uh, slot. Well, I personally prefer be preferred to be called a mother not a birthing parent i think the word parents inclusive so i i guess i just don't understand why you need to designate but i can understand there must be reasons anything to make people feel comfortable take down the walls take down the barriers that's what i'm about changing from mothers to birthing parents sounds great i mean why not it doesn't exclude anyone if we can be more inclusive the better i'm concerned about the schools right now i um I'll just leave it at that. I am concerned. I don't know if if it's in response to the unions or not. I just, I am concerned with what I'm seeing. I am in the education field and I would not have a problem with, you know, having a, um, a mother of a child be, be referred to as a, as a birthing parent. I'm a mother. I birthed my child. I don't want to be called a birthing parent. I just want to be called a mother because that's what I identify with. But other, somebody else may not identify that way, and that's fine, too. I mean, we all have to get along, and, you know, a label is a label. It doesn't define who we are as people. I think just my initial reaction is I think I would prefer, prefer to call a mother. Why wouldn't mother be inclusive, no matter what your sex is? It takes the specialness out of being a mom. How would they define birthing parent? Is that an adoptive parent as well? Is that a surrogate parent as well? Like what would constitute a birthing? To me that seems less inclusive because of that terminology and I haven't obviously read up on it but... Do you have two adopted children? I have two adopted children. Am I their birthing parent? <laughs> I, I wasn't there when they were born so I don't know. Because I'm a supporter of the LGB TQ um, I'm an ally I mean my kids call me mama and that's fine it doesn't bother me either way if someone called me a birthing parent it wouldn't bother me I think you could use both you know couldn't you I mean if you were actually the mother then you could be the mother and if you who would the birthing parent be the one who takes care of the child from the time of birth but not necessarily the one who gave birth to the child. Yeah. I don't know. It'll be okay. But I, I don't like the idea of being a mother. I wouldn't want to be called a birthing mother. Um, I guess by birthing parent, I would feel excluded from the children I adopted. 
but I, again, I would have to read their definition of birthing parent. It's an odd choice of word, I think. Okay, okay, okay. And there you have it, man. Um, that's that's Esau. This is this is Esau Edom at his finest. This is why this man must be taken out of power, man. And, and you, if you notice, you know, could have been an Israelite or two here and there, but amongst those women, you know, because um, it's not. Uh, 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 a skin color thing you know what I'm saying because Israelites were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and and uh, some of our people look like those women you know some of them look like so-called white people some of them look like so-called Chinese so-called Japanese so on and so forth it's not a color thing that's why when these these guys they be talking you know coming up against us talking about black Hebrew Israelites but it, we never um, say black because we're not black you know that's just a color man out of a crayon box you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we like to always bring that out as well, because a lot of our people that especially if you're new to this truth, you have to know that every single Israelite is not going to look like. Um, shit, Wesley Snipes or somebody, man, they're not going to look like, you know, uh, uh, they're not going to be, you know, a chocolate skinned person, because, like I said, again, we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. But anyway, this is the wickedness of Esau Edom. And I just wanted to just touch on this real quick, because this right here. And see, you, you you had the teacher. She was talking about, you know, I, you know, I'm about LGBTQ rights and all this other stuff, and because that's really what it's all about. That's what it's all boiling down to. That's that's the whole reason why they're coming up with these new phrases. So you got all these new phrases, all these new pronouns. You know, you got to try and uh, navigate as to whether or not I should. Shit, you might as well just don't even talk to nobody. I prefer not to even talk to you if I got to try and figure out what the fuck I'm supposed to be calling you. Like, for real, straight up, man. But, you know, not going to be a long lesson. I just wanted to grab a quick scripture to this. um, Because this man got to go, man. This man's got to go. You can't tell me this guy's not the Job 9 and 24, man, when you got uh, women out here that are giving birth. That makes them a mother. Now they're calling, they want to call them damn birthing mother. I mean, um, uh, what, the, what the hell was it? Got me confused. Let me see. What was what, what it again? Birthing parent. Birthing parent. So I guess that might go for the male too, uh, I guess. But anyway, this is um, Isaiah 5 and 20. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. That put darkness for light and light for darkness. That put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And, and that, you know, they, they put man for woman and woman for man. <laughs> You know, and, and this place is just it's wicked as hell, man. And it's beginning it's it's becoming even more wickeder by the day. So, you know, hey, keep your head on a swivel, be be circumspect about the times that we're in. Focus and, and stay laser focused right now. Now is no time to be playing no games, man, because we really are at the point of the Lord coming, man. Because how much more wicked can this place get? We we're 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 pretty much down to the, the last of the prophecies, man. Jacob's trouble. Your, your your third world's war and of course that's chip they want to put that grain of rice in you and that's all bubbling down man and that can happen within these next couple of months because you figuring once fall come around again which is like a month or so month and a half or so two months at, at best people going to start getting their sniffling sneezing it's going to be sniffling sneezing um season again then they're going to get to talking about these other um you know what i'm talking about that 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 rolling your sleeve shit up, man, with the jump shots, man. They already hitting the adolescents. They, you know, they already got it already geared up. They they made approvals for the kids to get the the, the three pointer. <laughs> so that's and then they talking about all these famines and 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 food shortages. So if the food shortages come into play, right, and then you got that to go along with it, man, that's gonna be total chaos. People are gonna be starving. And they're going to use that particular hookup to get you to come and get some food. You want to eat? You got to come and get this grain of rice in you. You want some rice? You got to get this grain of rice in you. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So, hey, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. We know how this guy gets down, man. It's, it, he, it, they have but a short time. Scriptures talks about that as well. Matter of fact, let me get, um, let's get that. So you got to, um, the Lord... He told us to be circumspect. He told us to watch, man. What are we watching for? We're watching for the things that the Lord told us this guy will be doing in the end days, man. The so-called white man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Hey, they, they got their enchanters, their charmers out here. You know, they got their the, the modern-day Chaldeans. They're the scientists. 
you know, coming out here whipping up all kinds of weirdness. You know, they, they can put a uterus into a, 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 a man now. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You, you can't tell me this man is not the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And, and they're moving pretty fast on what they got going on because the scripture says they know um, they have but a short time. Let me get this real quick. Like I said, again, it won't be a long lesson. I just seen that and I'm like, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Just when you think you've just seen it all. Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe. There go another woe right there. That woe, man, that destruction. Woe. To the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you. And that de that word devil means deceiver. This guy is the most deceiving uh, 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 uh this is the, they're the most deceiving race of people on the planet. No one deceives like the so-called white man. It says, um, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth, but he had but a short time. See, that's why everything is going on. He got that short time. This is why he's speeding up the wickedness, man. He's speeding up the evil, man. And like I said again, Let's get this Ephesians 5 and 15. Okay, and it reads, um, See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. See, we're supposed to be looking, watching, man. Even on a physical level, when you're out in public, man, you got to look around. You got to look around, man. I was just looking at the news, and um, they had that Olympic basketball, um, no, volleyball player. Nice looking Eve woman, you know, she was in Sports Illustrated and all, you know, swimsuit and all that stuff. And a homeless man ran up and cracked her ass over the head with a pipe, man. Had her goddamn eye looking like a, a, a damn um, golf ball. She fucked her up, man. And she was just like, yeah, be careful. You know, I was even, I wasn't even on my phone and it just happened. And I'm thinking like, yeah, man, they, they fucked that girl up, man. And it just kind of made me, me made me think. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me see if I can find this picture up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Found it. See? Nice looking young lady. See? I'm gonna check out. It said, it said the guy ran up on her with a pipe and, and, and hit, her in the, hit her in the face, man. Messed her up. But you know what? That didn't stop her from putting them eyelashes on, though. She still got that. She got them, um, them umbrellas on, though. But the way that she explained it, because I seen it on TMZ. The way, the way that she explained it, she was like, the homeless guy just came. She just walking. The homeless guy just came up out of nowhere, man. It just, just whacked her ass. In the, and she said it was like a, a, a he had a pipe or something like that. But that's the thing. Like, no, you know, people don't have no respect for nothing these days, man. The, the days are evil. Matter of fact, that goes off into, um, let's get that Matthew um, 24 and 12. So you got to be circumspect, especially you young ladies, man. Because the Lord is judging um, women, man, real tough these days, man. I've never seen women getting judged like how they're being judged right now, man. Matthew 24 and 12, and, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. That guy had absolutely, from what she was saying, you know, <laughs> from what she was saying, he just ran up on her and just smacked her in the face with a, with a pipe, you know. Now, you know, you know how um, Eve get down, Eve. Can't have a bit of a smart mouth, man. You know, she will get down on you, man. She will cut your ass to pieces and make you feel like nothing, you know. <laughs> but that, you know, that I'm, I'm, I'm not thinking that's the situation. And, you know, a lot of homeless people, man, they just don't have nothing to lose. Hey, but, I mean, that was the spirit of Yehovah by Shimei. I was shy. You know, he sent one of them demons, man. One of them left-hand side um, um, spirits, man, to, um, to, to, to do that to her, man. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you got to be really, really careful out here. You got to be real circumspect. Because like I said, there she go. Look, I mean, if you, when you really see her, she's a, she's a nice looking lady. She won, you know, you know, volleyball um, women, they're pretty, pretty okay, decent in shape, you know? And there she go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, who got at her ass real good. Like I said, again, I seen it on TMZ, man. Got that, that, that damn eyeball. She'll be all right, though. She'll get right. She was attacked by a homeless man, man. So like I said, again, you know, when you're out and about, you women, be careful out here, man. Be careful. Watch your surroundings. Always look around you and stuff, man. You know, but like I said, I mean, overall, you need the protection of your Hawa Bashim Yahweh Shai because 
it's it's not on us to protect ourselves, man. It's really how about Shemuel was shy. He's the one that's in, in control of protecting us, man. But you are living in wicked and evil days, and especially when you got some shit like this right here, man. Let me go back to it. Birthing parents or or mother. I mean, just incredible, man. When I seen this, I'm like, oh my goodness. They just won't stop, man. Esau is he, he can never have enough. This guy won't stop, man. He's your original Job 9 and 24. I mean, you can't tell me that this is not the guy. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? If this guy is not him, then you got to, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> this guy is in control of the most wickedest things that's going on in the planet, man. But I just wanted to just touch on that. Um, with that, you know, um, you know, repent, man. We're living in the last days. It's about time to get the hell out of here, man. Kwame Yashallah.